गाइस वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आर्किट्यूबर आई एम आर्किटेक्ट वेब वी एंड आई मेक कंटेंट रिलेटेड टू आर्किटेक्चर एंड इंटीरियर्स इफ यू आर न्यू ही प्लीज टेक अ मोमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल बिलो सो फॉर टूडेज वीडियो वी हैव फिफ्टी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर एम एंड एन फॉर नाटा ट्वेंटी Uh, these are kind of questions which are related to or kind of important questions or the topics that they have asked in the previous examination. So as per that, I have curated some of the questions by myself. And let's just start with today's video. Stay till the very end. And if you want me to make mock test for you, please do let me know. I can post that asap. So please let me know in the comment section. Comment mock test, and I will post the mock test for you. So let's start with 50 important MCQ and NCQ questions for NATA 2025. Okay, so these are the questions based on the topics that they have been asking in the examination. These are not the exact questions they have asked in the previous uh, papers, but there might be chances of these questions coming up in the examination. So let's just start with these important questions or the important topics. So let's start with the first question. So let's start with the question number one. You can answer the question and write it down in the comment section below, or you can just stay tuned. Okay. So in which state Omkareshwar Temple is located? A. Maharashtra, B. Uttar Pradesh, C. Uttarakhand, or D. Madhya Pradesh? So the correct answer for this is D. Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Then second question, Statue of Unity is the statue of A. Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel, B. Dada Bhai Naoroji. C. Rabindranath Tagore or D. Madan Mohan Malviya. So the correct answer for this is Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. Okay. Question number three. Vivekananda Rock Memorial is located in. The answer is A. Kanyakumari. Which among the following is the full form of UNESCO? So first option is United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. B United Nations Educational Security Cultural Organization C United Nation Entrance Site Calling Organization or D United Nations Educational Sustainable and Cultural Organization This is very easy the answer is A which is United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization okay Question number 5 Which of the following building represents the colonial architecture pattern in India? So, option A we have Bharat Bhavan in Bhopal, B LIC building in Delhi, C Char Minar in Hyderabad, or D Victoria Memorial in Calcutta. So, the correct answer for this is D Victoria Memorial in Calcutta. Okay. Now, discussing about question number six, which of the following is not the principle of design? repeating the question again which of the following is not one of the principle of design a balance b emphasis c repetition and d texture the question is not one of the principles of design so balance is principle then emphasis is again a principle even repetition is again a principle so the correct answer should be d okay coming to the next slide Which city is known as the Rome of India? So options are A, Kolkata, B, Hyderabad, C, Visakhapatnam, and D, Mangalore. So you should know about this. So the correct answer is Mangalore. Okay. Then question number eight: Three true primary colors when mixed together are closest to which color? A, white. B violet c blue d black this is the very easy question so you have to answer this question okay then question number 9 the indian state which is called as bamboo queen a west bengal b assam c kerala and d mizoram so the question number 9 answer is so mizoram is known as bamboo queen okay then question number 10 The substitute for river sand in building construction is brick sand, pit sand, sea sand, or manufactured sand. So the correct answer is D, manufactured sand. Now coming to the question number eleven, the concept of form follows functions is 
most associated with which architect? Frank Lloyd Wright, Louis Sylvain, Lee Corbusier, or Zaha Hadid? So this is again one of the easiest questions. So try to answer this question again. Then the Vastu Shastra in Indian architecture deals with structural engineering, sustainable construction, the science of architecture and design, and then decorative elements. This is again a very simple question. So try to answer this. And do let me know in the comment section below. Question number 13th. In the southern hemisphere, shadowless light is from which direction? In southern hemisphere, shadowless light is from which direction? A. North, B. South, C. East, and D. West. So the correct answer for this is A. North. Okay. Then the famous falling water house was designed by which architect? So this is one of the very easiest questions. All architects, all the aspirant architecture students or architecture students should know this question. So it was designed by architect Frank Lloyd Wright. Okay. Question number 15. The open hand monument in Chandigarh was designed by Edwin Lutens. Charles Correa, Lee Corbusier, or D. Raj Revel? So the answer is C. Lee Corbusier. What is the primary material used in the construction of Jantar Mantar in Jaipur? A. Marble, B. Red Sandstone, C. Concrete, or D. Granite? So the correct answer is B. Red Sandstone. Question number 17. The rock cut Kailasa temple at Ellora is dedicated to which deity? A. Vishnu, B. Shiva, 3. Brahma, and D. Ganesh. So, this is very simple question. Try to answer this. The first Indian architect who has won Pritzker Prize in 2018 is? So, the options are B. V. Doshi, Laurie Baker, Raj Revel, or Achyut Kanvinde. Pritzker Prize in 2018. Okay, so the correct answer for this is B. V. Doshi won the Pritzker Prize in 2018. So let's start with question number 19. The dome of Rashtrapati Bhavan is influenced by which of the following? So option A, we have Gurudwara, B. Mosque, C. Stupa, and D. Temple. So do let me know the answer in the comment section below. Okay, then who prepared the first layout of the town for Jamshedpur? A. Charles Correa, B. Otto Coenberg, then C. Lee Corbusier, or D. Kennedy Shin. So the correct answer for first layout of the Jamshedpur was made by Otto Coenberg. Okay. Then 21. What is the name of the window that sticks out on the side of a property? Velux window, Bay window, Beach window, or Johnson window? So this is one of the easiest question. So try to answer this. Which is the largest construction company in India? DLF, Reliance, ACC, and LNT. So the correct answer is LNT. Okay. Question number 23rd. Which of the following features best characteristics of Romanesque architecture? High windows, semicircular arches, high pointed peaks, and elaborate square walls. So the correct answer for this is semicircular arches from Romanesque architecture, right? Question number 24. Stone Age structure is an example of dome architecture, post and lintel, arch or concrete. This is a very easiest question. So it is a post and lintel type of a structure. Who designed the Lotus Temple in Delhi? A. Lee Corbusier, B. Charles Correa. D. C. B. V. Doshi. D. Fariba Shaba. So the answer for this is Fariba Shaba D. Okay. Which Indian structure is a UNESCO World Heritage Site? Lotus Temple, India Gate, Sun Temple, Konark, or Gateway of India? So this is again very easy question. Try to solve this. Then what is the full form of havoc in architecture? So heat ventilation and air cooling, heating ventilation and air conditioning, heat vacuum and air circulation, heating, vent and climate. So the correct answer is 
B. Heating, ventilation and air conditioning. Which color combination creates a sense of calmness in interior design? Red and yellow, blue and green, black and orange and purple and red. So the answer is blue and green. Which is the longest axis in perspective drawing? X axis, Y axis, Z axis or horizontal axis? So the answer is Z axis. Which of this is not a sustainable material? Bamboo, concrete, recycled wool, rammed earth. It is very easy. It's concrete. Then, then question number 31. Which form is created by rotating a rectangle around one of its sides? So again, reading out the question, which form is created by rotating a rectangle around one of its sides? So the answer is cylinder. Which Mughal emperor built the red fort? Which Mughal emperor built the red fort? Akbar, Jahangir, Humayun and Shah Jahan. So Mughal emperor who built the red fort was Shah Jahan. A good architecture design must be functional, aesthetic, economical and all of the above. It should be all of the above, right? Then who is known as father of modern architecture in India? B.V. Doshi, Charles Correa, then Laurie Baker or Raj Revel. Who is the father of modern architecture? B.V. Doshi, Charles Correa, Laurie Baker or Raj Revel. So the correct answer is B.V. Doshi, okay? Which of the following can be a top view of a cone? Rectangle, circle, triangle or square? So answer this question. This is a very easy question. Question number 36. The stepping pyramid form known as the ziggurat was characteristics of which ancient civilization? So this is a very basic question from history of architecture. Just try to solve this. Even you have to solve this. Okay, this can come as your MCQ and NCQ. A pyramid has how many vertices? Square base pyramid. So you have to calculate and let me know the answer. Which shape has only one face, one edge and one vertices? Even try to solve this. This can come in your NCQ question. I have given the MCQs, but these type of questions can come in your um, NCQ type. Like this one, this one. And this one can be your NCQ type of question. What does a floor plan represent? 3D view of a building, front elevation, layout from a top view or site select. So the correct answer is layout from a top view. Okay. Four, what is the minimum width of a residential staircase in India as per NBC? So it is 0.9 meter. You might not be knowing this as of now, but it should be 0.9 meter minimum. Then which is the largest temple complex in India? A. Minakshi temple. B. Brihadeshwara temple. C. Akshardham temple. D. Khajurao temple. So try to answer this. This is again an easy question. Or if you don't know, just Google it and let me know. So question number 42. Which style of architecture is the Kandariya Mahadeva temple is an example of Dravidian, Nagara, Visara or Mughal? So it is B which is Nagara temple, okay? Nagara style architecture, it is there. Then, which dynasty is associated with the construction of Brihadeshwara temple? Chola, Pallava, Gupta or Maurya? So, the correct answer is Chola. In Dravidian temples, the monumental tower at the entrance is called Shikhara, Mandapa, Gopuram or Vimana. So, the correct answer is Gopuram, okay? Then, which of this is non-ferrous material? It's very easy question. Just try to answer this. Sara Hadid is famous for what style? This is even also a very easy question. Even I have a video on Zaha Hadid architect. Okay. Then, who designed the Sydney Opera House? Norman Foster, John Woodson, Eero Sarnan, and Frank Gehry. So, the correct answer is John Woodson. Okay. Then, which city is known as the pink city of India? Very easy question. Just answer. Which country is famous for traditional pagoda architecture? Option A, India. B, Japan. C, Egypt. D, France. So, it's answer B, 
which is Japan. Okay. Then Laurie Baker is known for urban design, vernacular and cost effective architecture, high rise structures and corporate buildings. He is known for his vernacular style and cost effective architecture. Okay. Laurie Baker is known for vernacular and cost effective architecture. Do let me know if you want me to make more such videos or should I just post mock test? If you want mock test, uh, type mock test in the comment section below. And now that you have reached till the end of this video, we have answer sheets for all of the questions over here. If you want to check your answers that you have given, so you can check out here. Yes, with that, we have discussed about 50 questions in this video. Do let me know which video should I make the next. And if you like the video, you know the drill. Please like, comment, share and do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, please take care and bye.